welcome, welcome. My hair is a hot mess. Please forgive me. Um, holy moly. Okay, what a day it has been. Actually, what last three days, the last three days have been. Um, holy smokes. It has been virtually insane. Hey, Tiff. Hi, Jenna. So I posted a little makeup thing earlier. If you saw it, if you didn't see it, it's okay. I had a vote. Hi, Kelsey. Hi, Stephanie. I had a vote on my VIP page and this one had the most votes. Some of them had quite a few votes. So I'm going to just kind of work my way down from the highest um, on the votes. Hi, Nelly. This one's kind of a rainbow dramatic effect. It's just a lot of fun. Maybe brighten up your day with everything going on. Um, holy smokes, it has been a heck of a three days. Um, we've had that sale going on, um, which ends tonight at 11 p.m. our time. So if there's something that you're still wanting, go ahead and make sure you go snag it because a lot of stuff did sell out, but there is still good some good stuff um, left, especially if you're wanting eyeshadow palettes, skincare, um, multi-purpose cream, Botox in a bottle, all of that's available. So we're just going to do some late night makeup. What are you guys doing? Um, I'm in full like push, push, push for the end of the month here. Um, I have reached some goals that um, I didn't think were even possible. I don't know if you can see my calendar back here, but I do have a calendar back there. And I actually have goals written on that calendar. Um, and... I far surpassed one of those goals that I had written down and that is just amazing. Um, and I really, really couldn't do it without any and each and every one of you um, that have been able to support and take part. I really support and love this product and that's why I'm doing it. Hi Angie. So we're just, I'm gonna get started. I'm not gonna keep talking about it all, kind of like talk here and there. I'm gonna turn my light on. Hi. Um, excuse my hot mess hair. I did, it is washed, but throughout the day I just kind of tossed it up. Hi, Ashley. So yes, it's going to be a really fun, bright rainbowy makeup. I like to do my, um, foundation. I've already got, basically I have a primer on my face because I used our sunscreen this morning. Our sunscreen is a kind of a foreign one. The sunscreen is a sunscreen. It has anti-aging. It has primer and moisturizer all in it. So I use that this morning. So I really don't need to put any primer on. Hey, Kaylee. So all I really need to do is just get to the gung-ho of it with the foundation. And then we get to do the fun rainbow look that we're going to go for. Um, I, I really did not look at the weather. I was not expecting the rain. I was thinking it was going to be like yesterday. And so I was like, yep, I'm going to get out. I'm going to do some more yard work. Ran the sprinklers this morning before it rained. And then it was raining. So that was that was a waste. A waste. So um, I hope you guys are at least finding something enjoyable to do on your Friday night at home. Um, this foundation is probably the best coverage and wax-based that I have ever used. It does not clog my pores. It does not make me break out. It does not make me oily. It does not dry my skin out. And it color matches perfectly. Uh, the sale, the palettes sold out as far as that goes, but you can still purchase them individually. So that's still an option. As far as the sale goes, the only thing left that's not sold out, well, it's not the only thing, it's not like they're bad, is the... Sotox. The Sotox, I cannot believe, did not sell out yet because that is like your Botox in a bottle. It helps with dark spots. It helps with wrinkles and aging. It helps with um, skin color toning, all that kind of stuff. And then the 40 Cure Cream. The 40 Cure Cream. 40 Cure Cream. I always feel like that's a tongue, tongue twister. 40 Cure Cream is... Basically, should ever, everyone should have it in their medicine cabinet. It is good for sunburns, eczema, psoriasis, acne, about any skin issue you can think of, you'd want to put on there. So right now what you're seeing me do is I'm just doing my foundation. I'm not putting a ton on. I just like to get it blended 
and evened out. I like to build up slow, so it may seem like I'm actually dabbing it in a lot, but I've had this for over a month. I'm not really, because I do very light taps and just slowly build up to that coverage that I'm looking for. For this look, I want to make sure that I... <clears throat> Hold up. Oh, it shakes my... <laughs> my voice box. Okay. So I want to make sure that I get some good coverage because I don't want any of this to take away from the actual eye look itself on there. So did everyone else have a good Friday? Anything fun and exciting happen? I know it's hard to have fun and exciting when you're stuck at home, but I know we still have a lot of essential workers. Um, I mean, I've been lucky enough to be able to stay home and work, but I will tell you having to stay home and work and then homeschool has not been the easiest thing, especially with two kids and one who is just very, very crabby in general about any type of homework. It's been a challenge. Okay. Concealer. Concealer. I like to put on after the foundation because you want it to kind of highlight and then we're just perfecting the complexion with it. I like to do like a triangle and I can just draw it for you right there like that. I like to literally, when I do it, do it in this triangle effect on my eye. Just kind of gives you an instant eye lift appearance. Because it's so highly pigmented, you get to go ahead and you get to use that as your primer on your eyelid as well. And I take it all the way up because again, eventually you're going to want to highlight this area anyway. So I might as well just do it all at once on there. Hi, Tina. And then I'll do the other side. I did see though that the weather tomorrow is going to be gorgeous. Like, um, 70s. I think 69 or something along those lines. So then of course I'm going to be in the yard again doing yard work. I got so many little projects in the yard. I got to get done. We're trying to kill the grass off behind the pool so I can actually put rock down and not have to worry about the grass kind of growing back up through there too fast. Um, that way we don't have to worry about trying to mow behind the pool. Hi Keisha. Because it's just not fun to try to get the mower back there behind the pump and everything else. So, I got to get that done. And then, so right now I'm just doing my concealer. And then, um, I have some patio bricks I got to get down under the garbage cans because... There were some there already, but there's only enough for two. And we have a recycling bin also that I got to get covered up. So right here, I'm just very lightly like a pat tapping to blend in the concealer that I just put on. Um, blend it in with the foundation. I do have a blender sponge. I just didn't get it wet, so I can't. Don't want to use it. Obviously, it's going to soak up too much makeup if I use it. So, I'll just use this. That's good. This works. Whew. Okay. I was really cold when I came in here. My room's in the basement. But I was, like, sweating earlier. I don't know what's going on. It's the weather. Okay. So, for face-wise, as far as blush goes, again, I don't want to put too much on. Um, because I want my focal point to be my eyes, that rainbow look that we're going for. So really I'm going to use, I have this three palette. It has two shades of blush in the bronzer. I think I'm really going to work it up with the bronzer on my cheeks just to darken them. And it'll actually kind of contour also to draw the effect up towards my eyes. So we're going to, we're going to do the bronzer tonight. I like to use the big brush, it's angled, and then I like to just kind of run it in that same motion that the brush bristles are already in. Um, I like to apply and work up to the color I'm looking for. 
So always start light. So much easier to put more on than to try to correct it and take it off. So I wish I could um, play music without getting kicked off Facebook, but you know how that goes. I suppose I could if I put like a, I don't own the rights, but I have heard of them still kicking you off. So let's not risk that. We're good. We're good. Right guys. Okay. Translucent powder. If you don't have translucent powder and you're not using it in your makeup routine, I highly recommend it. It mats your makeup out makes it last longer throughout the day, but it also, our translucent powder at least, is a high def translucent powder. So it actually gets rid of the glare that you're seeing on the cameras. You're not gonna get that added shine and it's gonna give you that photo finish look that you're looking for. Hi, Jordan. So, I did say to someone earlier that this might, this might, be a total shit show because ugh, I've never um, done anything like this. I'm very conservative with my makeup. I know exactly how to do my smoky eye look with multiple colors, but as far as adding in more than two colors, three colors, I haven't done that. And I think um, has like seven colors in there for that look that was on there. So we'll see. Yes, that was my, this is my celebratory drink. Uh, my team killed it this month. We all killed it. We, um, oh my gosh, it was just, it's crazy. The month's not even over. I shouldn't even say this month. Just these last three days alone, um, we have killed it. It is literally six days left in the month and I see a ton more promotions happening. So it will be very exciting to see what happens in the next six days. We have six more days in the month. I can't believe it. Um, with the sale going on, I really felt like it was the end of the month and we were like blitzing, like trying to get our sales and stuff in there. But nope, nope, plenty of time left. You guys, okay, can I, I'm going to tell you a little secret. I have one of our eyebrow pencils. I have not used it. This is the blending part. And then the pencil itself. I have not used it yet because I am terrified to try it. And not because I don't think it's a good product. I'm terrified to try it because I have done my eyebrows this way for so long that I don't even know where to start using it. I think I'm just going to make another shit show video and try it. We're just going to just keep it going. Just keep the train going. At some point, I got to attempt to use it, and I really, really want to because I've seen some of the other girls that use it, and it looks amazing, so. I'll have to try it, I'm telling you. Anything exciting happen this week or any good news? I should say good news. Did anyone get, like, some awesome news this week? Um... To just like brighten their day. Their week. It seems like it's so hard these days to um, have any good news floating around because of the news and with everything going on. And just kind of being at home, it's hard to be like, yeah, we had a birthday party or graduations and proms and all that stuff's just not happening. And it's kind of depressing. So... We're doing the eyebrows. I do my eyebrows first. I know some people are like terrified to do the eyebrows first. I've been doing my eyebrows for so long that I just do them first. It's easier. I like to get them out of the way. That way I can clean them up. And just clean them up with my concealer brush that I used. It's already got concealer on there. So all it's really doing is just wiping that away there. Okay, oh, this is the fun part. This is the actual color palette. Okay, so I have a ton of Lime Life colors. 
I don't have a ton of bright colors. I think the only bright colors I have um, are actually in this new palette I just got. Yeah, so like these are the bright, like the bright colors I have. These are not gonna work for the rainbow. So I got this palette. <laughs> so it's like a super rainbow effect here. Um, I had to clean all my brushes too to make sure I had enough brushes for this because I don't wanna have to do too much cleaning and I'm trying to decide how I'm gonna do this. I think I'm gonna start, I wanna do the glam effect so I'm gonna put my eyelashes on. I think I'm gonna put my eyelashes on first actually. We're gonna put eyelashes on. I have these uh, magnetic eyelashes I've been using. Actually, that's a big size and then I have a smaller size popped out. So there's two in this. So I think I'm gonna do the big ones. Since this is like dramatic eyes and we're drawing our eyes up, I think I'm gonna do the big ones. And I'm gonna just stick them on now so I can clean up with the liner later. So bear with me here, cause well, it's not hard. It's just, um, I feel like it's a slow process when you're putting any type of item on your eye, like liquid liner, because you gotta be slow and steady. Now these lashes are not Lime Life lashes. Um, these lashes are from, I think I got, these are from Amazon, um, from the S-C-E-S-S-Y. You get multiple uses. They stay on like all day. Um, they're really great. I have not been a big eyelash person. I've never ever used eyelashes. The biggest reason I've never ever used eyelashes was because, to be 100% honest, I could not mess with the glue with eyelashes because it was just a disaster. I could never get them to stay. They would never, I don't know. The magnetic stuff has been amazing um, as far as eyelashes go. Hi Paige. So the instructions say two to three. I typically do about two. I've learned through the process to kind of let it dry in between. Otherwise you're just piling up on that first one. You're not really getting that second layer. That one's still kind of wet. I'm going to wait just a second here. You don't want to get too impatient putting it on because you really want these to stick and be on proper. Now, as far as this eyeliner goes, the reason why I'm doing this now is before I do the actual eyeshadows is because it'll be mostly covered up and then I can just clean it up with my regular eyeliner. Okay. Now I'm going to let it dry before we put them on. If you guys want the link for these, let me know. They really weren't that expensive. I want to say between the $20, $25 range, and there's two sets in there, has the liner and then it comes with an applicator. So I can give you the link for those if you want. One set's more dramatic and fuller than the other, so it gives you an option. I'm gonna do the full set. We're going shebang tonight, especially with these bright colors, you guys. I'm like, my my kiddo wanted, wanted to do them. These are BH Cosmetics. I've done some research on them. They seem like really, really good, um, pigmented. Like I said, I don't have those bright of colors in my Lime Life ones, unfortunately. My Lime Life ones are very neutral. I did get some bright ones, and I'm really, I do have, so, I do have a pink look that was voted, but it just wasn't my highest vote. So I do have a pink look that I'll be doing and that'll be done with my Lime Life ones. So that's exciting to be able to use my Lime Life shadow for that look. So um, as far as this goes, this is metal and then you have the metal here. So you're gonna wanna make sure you just kinda have that on the end. And then I like to come downwards into an angle When I'm applying it that way, 
Holy crap, these are gonna get in my way. I hope these don't get in my way. Okay. Because it was just super easy to put on, just like that. And then it just blends right in with my eye. Hmm, okay. I'm debating on going with the smaller ones just because I don't want it to take away from the colored eyeshadow. Let me look at the smaller ones. Let's look here. Let's debate. Here's a smaller one. I don't want it to overshadow the eyeshadow. So I'm going to put a smaller one on this other eye and we're going to look at it here. Yeah, we're gonna go with the smaller one. So this is as easy as it is to take off. They stay on, like I can't feel it. It doesn't feel like it's there. It's not bothering me. Um, it just kind of hangs out. So we're gonna go with the smaller ones because I don't want it to overshadow the eyeshadow itself. I like to smoosh, I call it smooshing, and I just kind of form them together to make sure that I have that down where I want it before I put my eyeshadow on. So, those are those magnetics. Look kind of cool. All right. Ooh. Eyeshadow time. I'm gonna start from the outside, I'm gonna work my way in, and then I'm gonna blend out. I think I kind of thought about this in my head, how I was going to do this and try to come up with a game plan. I think that's the best game plan I have right now. <laughs> I'm trying to decide what brushes I want to use as far as firmness goes, um, for each color. Okay. So we're going to start with the red. The red was on the outside, on the top. And I figure if I start with the red, it'll be easier to blend the orange and the yellow because the top is red, orange, and yellow. And then the bottom is green blues and purple there's like two different blues that you want to do to kind of draw that effect into turning into purple i have never done red on my eyes but i'm actually kind of liking that red color right now sure I brought it down over here all right so there's our red I tried to make sure I had enough brushes to where I don't have to wash in between because I really didn't want to intermingle my colors too much dang it oh everything keeps falling off I need a deeper deeper vanity all right, so then we're gonna do the orange right throughout here. I'm not too concerned about the fallings and the shavings right now. I think those will clean up. I am going to blend the orange into the red here and just pull it in to that red and take it down a little bit here. Ooh. I have never done anything like this. So it could turn out very well. Or it could be a disaster. I have no idea. We'll find out together. Might be a disaster. I don't know. 
I think I'm just gonna take my time and not try to rush it too much. I think that's where the biggest mistake could be made here is trying to rush it too much. Um, and then I'll come back up and touch it up. And we're gonna do the yellow on the inside here. It's like a nice golden yellow. Hi, Pam. Hi, Jody. So just as your reminder, guys, that sale is over at 11 o'clock Central Time. So if you're still waiting or ready to get those orders in, make sure you do. Okay. And then we're going to go. I don't want to blend yet until I'm done with the bottom side of it. So we're going to do, I think I'm going to work my way out, go lighter to darker for this. Here we go. So we're going to go with, I think this green. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Someone just popped up 11 59 PM or 10 59 PM is when the sale ends. It was a heck of a sale, guys. I bought two 40 cures just for myself for my closet because as much as I put sunscreen on the kids, you just at some point forget to reapply. They get a little pink and it just gets rid of that pink right away. But also because my girls have, and I'm not really sure what it's called, but they have those bumps on the back of their arms. And um, of course the youngest one's not too concerned with it, but my 11 year old asked me if there was something that she could do for it. And I was looking around at my products and found out that she could use that for the bumps on her arms. So we snagged that as well. Hopefully she likes it. So I'm trying to decide, let's do this blue, I'm trying to decide what blue I want to do. Cause we're going to do couple blues here. We're going to blend it into the green. Ooh. We're going to step it up to a darker blue here and blend that blue into this blue. Hi, Shay. looking all kinds of bright and colorful and then we're gonna do the purple in the corner here and pull it up into the red All right. I like that purple color. That's nice. Okay. So I think for the bottom eyes, what I want to do, some game planning here. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this because I don't want to, oh, this is a good thin brush. Let me wipe this one off. Okay. And I had wiped somewhere. I don't want to blend the bottom too hard. I don't want that color on that brush. Okay. So I think I'm just going to get a nice small flimsy brush and just blend that bottom here. Yeah. I think that worked out pretty well. As far as fallen eyeshadow goes, what I like to do is I like to take my foundation brush and I use the corner um, at an angle. I come downwards like this. And just sweep it right up. 
like that. Cleans it right up. For the top, I'm gonna do blending in two different ways. Um, my first, first blending that I wanna do is I wanna blend the harsh lines right here because I don't want it to be, you want it to kind of fade into your eye, I feel like. You don't want it to be so harsh of a line. I like to take a clean brush for that and just smoothly smooth it out. Just like that. I feel like that makes it, it's not as harsh and it just makes it feel softer. Okay. And then for the eyes, I'm going to do the same thing I did with this other one. If I didn't know what I did with that brush. Here, I'll use this brush. I'm losing my brushes. Okay. Just another soft one and just want to blend it together. You don't want it to be hard. You just want it to be enough to, ooh, to mix together. I am gonna do the eyeliner. I'm gonna do the eyeliner to cover up um, the magnetic eyeliner and just to clean it up a little bit. As far as the bottom goes, I think I'm gonna just stick this right in my waterline. If I can get my hands to be steady enough today. And just a little bit. On my water line there. I feel like I stop talking when I'm doing this because I'm concentrating so hard. Like, don't stab yourself in the eye. <laughs> okay, and then on the top, I'm just gonna go right over kind of where my lashes are sitting. So it appears as though those are all running together. And so now this is actually blending the magnetic eyeliner and my eyeliner together. All right. I like to do my mascara before I do any type of brightener on my eye. Mm. As far as the mascara goes, I'm not really gonna put too much on the top because I've got those eyelashes on, but I am gonna make sure I get some on the bottom here. And then on the, since the eyelashes are sitting on the top, I'm just gonna do a little bit underneath for my real lashes. And then 
then I've got this eye brightener I like to use. Oh, I'll use this all thing to pieces. This is a nice white bright. I'm thinking about lips as I'm doing this and I don't really want to put anything um, bold on. So I think we're going to stick with a nude. So as far as a nude goes, and I'm just going to, again, clean this up a little bit. As far as a nude goes, we have a couple of different options. I actually have quite a few options. We have, well, I've got birthday cake or angel food. They're a little bit different. Um, so this one has a little bit more of a pink nude tint. We've got nude liner and gloss. I do have darker colors. This is peanut butter. That's a brown, a brown nude, a nude brown. What else do I got? We've got salted caramel. That's a brown. I think we're gonna do, I think I'm gonna do the liner and the gloss. Okay. I love this liner. It's my fave. This is the dark one. There's a light nude and a dark nude. This is the dark one. I like a liner because I feel like I have 100% control over it. Not only do I have 100% control over it, but I feel like um, it stays a really long time. The, the lippies stay a really long time too, but I feel like this just kind of... Goes exactly where I want it to. Now, I don't know if you know the secret, but um, if you go a little bit over your actual lip line, it gives you the illusion of your lips looking better and people can't tell. I do it all the time. And you can't tell. So I go, and it's not a lot. It's just a smidge. Just a smidge over the top. Same goes for the bottom, just a smidge right underneath. I don't know if you saw that I am, typically if you're gonna do just liner and not fill it in, the technique is to take it as a crisscross from there and then to here, and that gives your lips a pucker look, but I am filling in, so I did that out of habit. I wish I had the light nude one. I think it'd be perfect. Okay, and then a gloss, just a nice gloss to tone it down. All right, you guys, I did it. And I do not think it looks 
absolutely horrible. So it didn't actually turn out that bad. I love the rainbow look. Um, I think it turned out pretty good. I'm going to touch up a couple things here. Hi, Lauren. I'm just going to touch up right under my eye here. And this is basically just where my foundation brush didn't get when I touched up earlier. Because I try not to get that foundation brush with it being so big too close. So. What do we think? Hi, Galene. Did we fail or did we succeed? I have to say it's a win, guys. I think I nailed it. This is a nailed it moment. I'm feeling very proud, like a nailed it moment. It looks so good. Oh, thank you, Lauren. You know what? I, I was saying earlier that I thought this was gonna be a complete shit show because I've never done anything like this. I've only ever done like two colors, maybe three, but I think, what, how many colors did I use here? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the highlighter in the middle. So technically eight colors on here. I am loving it. So this was the most popular look on my VIP page. If you're not in my VIP page, come find me at Be You Beautifully. Um, that's where we're going to have some more voting for some more looks. I do have another look in store for you guys tomorrow. So stay tuned. Also tomorrow we're going to be drawing for product credit winner for party one. Party two is very close to closing. Um, those are our sale parties. So hopefully that one gets closed out here soon, but we have till the end of the month to close it out. I have no doubt at all that it will, won't get closed out. So that's exciting. Um, also we had lots of entries going in for the launch wand. This really, really awesome launch wand. Um, entries for sharing get you into the launch wand also. All you gotta do is share the video. Um, anything like that gets you into it. So hi Katie. Um, I hope you guys liked it. I think it's a nailed it moment. I am loving it. Might have to be bold and do it with like a black dress sometime. Digging it. Later guys.